Hello scholars, welcome to lesson 2.09, solving a system of three variable linear equations. So, recall that system refers to more than one equations, and here we have three equations and three variables. Okay, uh, it might get a little overwhelming, but remember we have our steps here and we're going to follow through. Now, whenever we try to solve a system complicated like this, we're going to first make sure that all the variables are lined up correctly. So meaning, if you check out first one, x, y, z, x, y, z, you see first two equations have all the variables lined up correctly. Now, this is the only one that's one off. And you'll notice that the x variable is on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and clean up this by subtracting 4x on both sides. All right, so then now I'm going to look at... So here, listen, there's a lot to keep track of. So I'm going to actually letter each equations a b and c so i can keep track of which one i'm using which one i'm not using now if i look at each of these equations um these are quite tricky as of now because the goal is for us to make the coefficients same number opposite signs okay again same number opposite signs so when i check out um the, var the variables right let's just check out x for now x and x and x. I'm noticing there's numbers in front of the x's. These are so called coefficients. And I want the coefficients to be same number but opposite signs. So as of now, I mean the numbers aren't the same, but you'll notice that these two are positive and one of them is negative. Okay, So it seems like I have a promising case. What I need to do now is, how am I going to make this one 4, this one 4, and keep this one as is? Well, by multiplying it. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything, everything in this first equation by 2. Okay. So then let me distribute. So I get... 4x plus 6y minus 8z equals negative 2. Okay, don't forget to distribute that 2 to the number on the other side. Okay, so this is my equation A. All right, let me check out B. I'm going to multiply the second equation, or the B equation, by 4. All right, so that now I have A, B, and C equations with the coefficients, same number, 4, 4, 4, but opposite sign, negative and positive and positive. As long as I have one positive and one negative, I'm okay, okay, since we have three equations. So then now that we have our work set up, what we're going to do is now I'm going to add equations. So since this is negative, I'm going to go ahead and add A, and C equations together, and also B, I have to use B, right, because I didn't use, I only use A and C in the first case, but if I'm choosing B, I'm going to add B with not A, but C, because you're, you're about to see why. So let me go ahead and write that down. So then let's add them up. And notice when we add the 4x and negative 4x, they cancel each other out. So I have 7y negative 7z equals 14. Okay. Let's add up b and c. So I'm going to go ahead and add up b and c. And again, right, 
the x variable cancels out, okay? Making my life easier. All right, so then now, once we are at this juncture, okay, it's, it's much more simpler, right, than what we had before, uh, we're going to do it again, okay? So do it again as in we're going to find the variable with the same number but opposite coefficients. So if I look here, I don't actually have to multiply any of the equations by anything because I'm noticing that my y's already have the same number, the 7's, and then 1 is negative. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just add these two equations up. Cancels out. That's easy. Oh, my mental math. 42, I believe. So then we're going to have to solve for z, right? And z is equal to 3. Yay! Once we find the variables of z, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually go back to one of these equations. Okay, the equations with two variables. I cannot use the one from before, okay? So I'm going to just use this one, 7y minus 7z, which is 3. And then go ahead and solve it. Simplifying, add 21 on both sides. I got 7y is equal to 35. Divide both sides by 7. I get y equals 5. All right, so then now, now that I have figured out y and z, I can now choose any of the original equations to find the value of x. Okay. I'm going to choose the second one. And also, scholars, you can use any of these as well. Okay. They're basically the same equation, but I just have bigger numbers, and I prefer the ones without Okay, least number of coefficients. Y is 5. Z is 3 equals 3. Let me just make some room. Okay, X plus 5 equals 3. Subtract 5 on both sides. I have X equals negative 2. Okay, so I have found the solutions. And if you don't believe me, you can go ahead and substitute these values back into every single equation given, and it will make the equation true. Okay, now lastly, the way we express, express our answers, okay, um, you can just leave it like this, okay, uh, but sometimes on regions, because these are x, y, and z, we can actually write it as a coordinate form. Okay, but it's not quite what we say coordinate form because coordinate form refers to just x and y, right? But this is actually three-dimensional coordinate form. So we're going to list it out, x, y, and z. Okay, again, so the goal here is to make the coefficients of one variable same number opposite sign.